Hey everyone, welcome back to FX Limit, where we break down complex trading concepts into actionable insights. Today, we're diving into the dynamic world of consumer confidence and its pivotal role in fundamental analysis within Forex trading. First off, let's talk about what consumer confidence actually is. It's a statistical measure that gauges the overall health of the economy through the sentiment of the average consumer. Think of it as a barometer of how optimistic or pessimistic people feel about their financial conditions and the state of the economy. So, why does consumer confidence matter in Forex trading? Because the Forex market is hugely influenced by economic indicators, and consumer confidence is a leading indicator of economic health. When consumers are confident, they're more likely to spend money, driving up domestic economic activities and potentially strengthening the currency. On the flip side, when confidence drops, spending tends to slow, which can signal economic downturns and weaken a currency. Now, let's break down the main factors that influence consumer confidence. Employment rates. Job security is a big deal. When employment rates are high, people generally feel more secure in their jobs, which translates to more confidence in the economy. Inflation. The cost of living is another major factor. If consumers feel that their income isn't keeping up with rising prices, confidence can take a hit. Interest rates. These affect borrowing costs. Lower interest rates can boost spending and confidence, while higher rates might do the opposite. Political stability. It's all about predictability here. A stable political environment often equals a stable economic outlook, enhancing consumer confidence. Global events. Think pandemics, wars, and trade disputes. These can all have profound effects on consumer sentiment, either boosting it or causing uncertainty. Now, how can we incorporate consumer confidence into our fundamental analysis and forex trading? Here are some strategies. Firstly, monitor consumer confidence reports like a hawk. These reports come out monthly in many countries and can provide critical insight into economic trends. As traders, we're always looking for that edge, and these reports can be gold mines for forecasting market sentiment. Secondly, understand the ripple effect. When consumer confidence shifts, it doesn't just affect currency. It can impact stocks, bonds, and commodities. By understanding this interconnectedness, you can anticipate cross-market movements. Next, pair the consumer confidence data with other indicators. One piece of data is good, but several pieces are better. Combine consumer confidence with employment statistics, GDP reports, and political news to get a full picture of where a currency might be heading. And don't forget to look at the bigger picture. Short-term fluctuations in consumer confidence can be deceptive. Look for consistent trends over time to inform your trading decisions. Finally, let's talk strategy. If consumer confidence is rising, consider long positions on the related currency, expecting it to strengthen. But if it's falling, you might look at short positions, preparing for a potential decrease in currency value. Remember, incorporating consumer confidence into your trading isn't just about reacting to data, it's about anticipating it. Stay ahead of the game by keeping an eye on factors that could shift confidence and by understanding the psychological undercurrents that drive the markets. To wrap it up, consumer confidence is a complex but incredibly powerful tool in fundamental analysis. By keeping our fingers on the pulse of consumer sentiment, we can make more informed decisions, adapt to changing market conditions, and ultimately, aim for better trading outcomes. That's all for today at FX Limit. We've unpacked the role of consumer confidence in Forex trading and how to harness it to your advantage. Until next time, stay confident in your trades and keep learning every day. Happy trading, folks!